A Northeast Baltimore art teacher beat out some of the best and brightest educators in the state. Now she has a chance to be the National Teacher of the Year. WJZ is live. Amy Yancey spent the day with Maryland's Teacher of the Year and has more on her chance to win the national award. And Amy, I'm so glad that you are saying her name <laughs> and not me. Well, her name, Mary, is Miss Kitty Akakos, and she's very passionate about her students. She was born and raised right here here in Baltimore and says there's no other place she'd rather teach. One of the busiest art studios in Baltimore City is in an unexpected place, a classroom at the Mergenthaler Vocational Technical High School. You can come back in and draw it freehand. Athanasia I mean, Kiriakakos has been teaching here since 2014, her dedication to her students earning her top honors from the State Department of Education. I just love her. I love how she just is as a teacher. She wants to help kids. She's this year's Maryland Teacher of the Year and now one of four finalists for the 2017 National Teacher of the Year Award. Oh my God, I'm like sort of besides myself. Before uh, I came to this class, I couldn't do any of what you see here. I was drawing stick figure people, but uh, as a result of her, now I'm doing full body portraitures. The Fulbright Scholar stumbled upon teaching while volunteering for an organization that helps underprivileged girls. Those girls showed me, sorry, my potential, like that, what the gift that I had was to give it back to them. Miss Kiriakakos is in good company. Three of the four nominees teach the arts. She says that proves art is an essential part of education. Now my paintings look like this. It just encourages me every day to say, wow, I really did that. Before teaching, Kiriakakos, or Miss K, like some students call her, spent years creating art installations. She says inspiring future artists is her biggest masterpiece. Allow them to tap into their own potential and find the hidden talent and skill that they might have. In March, she'll go before a panel of judges coming up in March for a rigorous interview, and that is the last step before a winner is chosen. So good luck to her. Reporting live tonight, Amy Yancey, back to you. Absolutely. We are pulling for Miss K. Thanks, Amy. The winner will be announced in May at a White House ceremony. I love her. She almost had us tearing up a little bit. She's yeah. talking about the passion that she has learning from students, her passion. She's amazing. Good for her. Yeah.